Welcome back everyone, Toysh is here and I am back yet again to give you guys another fresh look and today we are going to be checking out the rest of Mattel's new He-Man Masters of the Universe Masterverse Wave 4. I actually found these. Finally, I had Skeletor first and now we got Merman, He-Man, and Tila. Speaking of which, I think, yeah, this is a much better looking Tila, very classic looking Tila, gorgeous artwork on all the packages, right? And you can read up on the bio if you'd like to get that going. And then you hear the uh, barcode as well. Pick this one up at Target. Now, Merman came from Walmart. And they come, kind of been going back and forth, we'll just say, uh, to get the whole set. But you can read up on him right here. Here is the barcode for Merman as well. And then you have He-Man or Viking He-Man or just classic kind of comic book he-man very cool looking figure you can read up about he-man really if you, if you don't know make these guys right here those are interesting characters and then you can of course see every single character within wave four i can't believe we're already up to that point right here's the barcode for old he-man here and now like i said uh, i've already taken a look at skeletor I'll briefly go over him to kind of make it just a complete Wave 4 video. But in either case, this is going to be fun. Sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is a look at the brand new Mattel Masterverse Wave 4 Merman, He-Man, Tila, and Skeletor. Let's check them out. And while I got all you he people here, I just want to say thanks so much for always checking out my YouTube videos. If you haven't already, please do consider subscribing. Old toys, new toys, daily news, updates. Guarantee you'll find something here that you like. Now, like I said, I've already gone over Skeletor. I actually found him quite uh, quite a while ago now. I'm kind of looking at the timestamp on the video. But I'll, I'll just make it quick, and I'll tell you this honestly. It's a fantastic Skeletor. I really dig this look. I like this whole bearded Skeletor, old man Skeletor look. He's got the big cool cape on him. He's got one heck of a Havoc staff. He just looks menacing. He's a very interesting, very different looking Skeletor, and uh, I definitely dig this look more so than the usual Skeletor. Now, talking about Merman. Masterverse, if you don't know, is kind of an amalgamation of all different facets of Masters of the Universe. So this one in particular comes from the He-Man Netflix Revelation show. He comes with, now I'm going to say it's a trident, it's not, it's like a fork trident device, whatever, doesn't matter. But he does hold it well, it's got some nice paint to it, it gets a little sloppy around the brown, but he looks epic holding it, you can pose him very nicely holding that old fork trident thing whatever it's called who cares at this point and then you have his mer sword or undersea blade whichever that's got nice paint on it too painted better than the fork thing whatever anyways he's got extra hands extra fists open hands and one outstretched hand which the figure does have on right now but like i said this is merman as seen in he-man motu revelation he's got the missing eye he's more of a pirate of the seas right very cool looks like the jaw would move but unfortunately it does not although i'd like to see more jaw articulation in figures been looking at a lot of mcfarland zombies and such but he's got a lot of different scars all over him they're painted nice might have to line it up a little bit right just to kind of make it look good and lo and behold he's got scratches and scars on the back too now he does have some great paint he's got some really cool colors very evocative of the craziness that is masters of the universe but He's a bit more cartoony than I guess I would like and not even fitting with the rest of the figures that have come out, which are not too cartoony. Go real easy on the articulation on the elbows. On both sides, this one actually moves a little bit. They don't seem to want to do the full mobility. Go really slow. This one seems to be stuck entirely, so you don't want to break anything. I'm definitely going to have to heat that up. But again... He does have some cartoony colors, which is not a bad thing. He's got some decent articulation, which, hey, that's not a bad thing as well, because, obviously, this guy is going to be swimming around the water doing all kinds of Aquaman-type poses, right? For the most part. But you got the sword, he's got the outstretched hand, you give him a flight stand. This merman is, he's just okay, to be quite honest with you. Now, going from Merman to Tila, we have classic Tila. Again, she does come from the Revelation TV show. Although, I mean, she's pretty much just like 
2022 Tila figure was kind of classic, right? I do definitely dig her. Now, you do have a shield. There's not much paint at all on this. It's just the solid gold color, unfortunately. More paint would have been nice. You got this really cool blade. The blade is 10 times better. She holds it nicely. It's got nice paint every which way. And you can pose her, have her have the shield, the sword, do the whole Tila thing. So I definitely like her weapons. I just kind of would have preferred the shield to have yeah, just a little bit more paint to it, to be quite honest with you. Now, her extra head portrait. Again, this one coming from Revelation when she learns about Prince Adam and He-Man and all that kind of stuff. She throws a fit and takes off her helmet and she's got long hair you get the idea she's got some extra hands yada yada and like i said tila looks very very cool i like this look for tila not to say that the other one didn't work for me but i think that in terms of what i think about for mass universe the more classic stuff always seems to fit better i like the extra head portrait don't get me wrong but this one just works now she does kind of get gappy right there the plastic doesn't exactly match up around the neck right there to her chest but the paint is really nice on her. Except in the white parts on the boots, we'll just say, it's a little sloppy right there. A little bit more crispness would be nice. But the paint goes all the way around. The gold really stands out amidst all the white. So that's really nice. She's got a nice skin tone to her. Very pretty face on both of the portraits, which is nice to see. Same exact articulation you would expect for a Masterverse line. I wish they could just improve upon the heads going up and down. Get a little bit more of that uh, I have the power kind of look in the heads because it doesn't really go back too much. You got the legs. Her little armored dress thing might get in the way. A little hindrance of the legs. But nice boots, nice everything, nice feet. It's good. It works totally cool. And if you want to swap the heads, which is easy peasy, not exactly my favorite look. Again, nice pretty face, right? Very evocative of Tila. Doesn't really work for me if you look at her in terms of, okay, I'm a poser with a shield or a sword or something like that. I mean, maybe you could have this as an extra soldier for the Land of Eternia under Man in Arms or Tila, something like that. But uh, yeah, I think the crown, the helmets, whatever it is, holding the sword, the shield, put her in a flight stand. She's ready to fight the forces of Skeletor. And you know, this guy is going to be getting involved too. So this is the He Man of this particular wave and he kind of harkens back to the original designs and such for he-man which i don't mind at all because i dig it and i love the look of this power sword that is a nice sheen right there it's little speckles inside the plastic it's nicely painted around the wrap on the handle that's awesome let's do that again right there look at that Zwing! right needs that little anime sound but i do like that he actually has a sheath for this in the back or at least a little place to put it you shouldn't say full sheath but uh, you get the idea very nice power sword and a nice power axe although the axe is missing we'll say the wrapping paint right there a little bit more paint would have been nice on the axe maybe dirty it up a little bit however he does hold it nicely it's a very different look for he-man but much like the skeletor of this wave it's a very welcomed difference i definitely like these more so than classic he-man to be honest with you it just gives a little bit more depth to these characters i totally dig it now i do like the fact that he has his little mini sword that can fit in his boots it's got some nice gold paint it's got some silver as well little speckles in there makes it shimmer and shine he does have extra hands outstretched hand fist hand and two weapon hands got the extra portrait which this one's a hundred percent better than the initial he-man portrait that came with let's say the revelation again this one not being revelation this one being more so the original comic book inspiration designs yada yada from the original artists and yeah it totally works i like the helmeted head it's not my favorite obviously i like the unmasked one but again it's something different it's got some nice paint to it i like the horns i like his little insignia right there on his chest and all his armor the armor's got some great detail to it imagine if it had a little bit of a wash man oh man it would have brought that out just a little bit better because it kind of gets lost amidst the color of the plastic however these do come undone and you can actually pull the armor off. i'll show you how to do all that the loincloth the boots right here this looks funky right it looks like wow that's a weird indentation right there well that's where you're going to put the little mini knife sword whatever you want to call it and once it's in there it looks fine it looks like it's kind of pressing up against the material right there which is cool you pull it out though it looks kind of funky it also kind of looks funky in his hand 
<laughs> it just looks like I'm gonna cut you, man. Like he just, uh, you know, he pull out like a little knife when you have the power sword going on. All right, that's cool. Keep it in the boots. That's where I like it. A little bit more paint around here just to kind of differentiate within the wrappings would have been really nice. On his cool moccasin boots, right? Definitely dig all the different textures. It's a home run of a figure. I definitely dig this. I think it's a very complete figure. Some of the paint right here on this side, yeah, kind of gets sloppy here and there. A little bit extra paint would have really made this guy pop, but I really do like him. From all the weapons and accessories, I do wish that he had a shield. That's one thing I think he's missing. He's got all the articulation. The armor won't hinder it. You get the idea, right? It's the He-Man Masterverse articulation. It's not going to be always the most attractive of the articulation with the cuts and everything else, but it is pinless. And it's 20 bucks, and uh, you really can't complain about that. With the head portraits, like I said, I like the unhelmeted head, but I like the helmeted head as well as something different. Now, I will show you this. You pop the head off, right, just to kind of make it easier. You go in the back right here, and you're going to take these straps off. We'll speed it up. Pull the armor off. Check that out, right? Comes right off. It's got a lit, little bit of paint right there. Kind of makes it look like a furry part for his shoulder. Pull this off, and bingo, bango. You got yourself a really cool looking comic book He-Man. I like this. This is this is my new favorite He-Man figure right here. That looks awesome. The dirty blonde hair. You've got the armor. You've got him reaching back, pulling out the power sword, doing all the He-Man stuff. The only thing I would say is, again, with the heads, not being able to look all the way up. And maybe have an extra hand that really emphasizes that he's putting the sword towards the sky. You know what I mean? One of those. Putting him next to this wave's Skeletor. Favorite Skeletor, favorite He-Man that I own right here. I do love Origins. I'm just going to say that. But as far as Masterverse goes, these are a knockout. And so is the Tila figure. I have to say, putting her next to this He-Man, it's very classic. I mean, I just got into He-Man in recent years, but I totally dig it. It's very 80s, and I totally love the way that that looks. Now, I have gotten previous customized heads. I'll put all the links down in the description below. You can definitely check them out. I think that the customizer Hordak really knocked this out of the park. I do like this new He-Man head. If you're wondering if you could take the ones and swap them, the skin tone's not going to match. But it's a very cool, very well-sculpted design invoking the Revelation cartoon show. Now, if you wanted to swap heads and put it on the prior, let's say, Wave 1 Masterverse He-Man body with this new head portrait. It's okay. I don't know why it, do it just doesn't work for me. It's like too small. I don't know. It doesn't work. Give him the shield from the Wave 1 He-Man. Got the power sword going. That's a knockout of a figure. Home run. Heck yeah. You definitely got to get this He-Man. Because he just looks so good. Masterverse... I gotta give it to him. It kind of feels like it falls under the radar a lot. Like, not a lot of people are after these, at least that I see, but uh, these are fantastic action figures. Mattel's really killing it. Not every figure is fantastic, mind you. Yeah, they're doing a great job. Merman, I would say, is the bottom of the wave for me. He's very cartoony. I mean, as far as the cartoon goes, I think they definitely captured him. But if you look at the rest of the figures released under, let's say, the Revelation line, excluding this Beast Man, he really does stand out. He doesn't seem to match up as well as all the other characters. So I would like more of a classic Merman, maybe later down the road. But this Duncan, Man-at-Arms, and Tila definitely go together well. If you're wondering, yes, this is another customized head by Hordak. I'll put the link down in the description below. So in all honesty, with my thoughts about Merman aside... It really is a home run wave. Very solid, awesome paint, accessories, yada yada, capturing the look of the characters. So if you were to get any of these characters from Wave 4, I think you would have a great time. So that's going to wrap it up for my look at the brand new Mattel Masterverse Wave 4. And you've heard my thoughts, and now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything Masterverse. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food, but most importantly, remember, now that I'm finally caught up on Masterverse, I can't wait for Wave 5. And when we do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios. Yeah.